Alright, I really didn't want to talk about this because I said I wasn't going to. I said I wasn't going to react to this live either. And, you know, I feel like I have to talk about this. And I know I'm a day late as well. And I sort of decided to talk about it now. But what the hell was that? EA Play 2019 was pretty bad, I'm not going to lie. I mean, instead of revealing anything new, they revealed DLC for games that are already out. Such as Battlefield, such as stuff like Sims 4, which I forgot was even being supported still. Stuff like Apex Legends. Like, what the hell? And they reveal stuff like Madden, which still isn't coming to the Switch. And stuff like FIFA. Fine, those are fine. One thing I want to talk about, though, is Star Wars. So let's talk about it. So, after what seemed to be announced by just some random dude in the crowd at last year's E3, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order finally has gameplay revealed. It seems to have elements from Uncharted and Assassin's Creed, which is a different change of pace for a Star Wars game. This seems to sort of have divided many people, but I dig it. I really do dig it. But it's EA we're talking about. This also seems to be single player, something that is irrelevant according to EA. So, I dig this. Honestly though, there wasn't much else to talk about. Jedi Fallen Order is the only thing worth of note. I do love how the director of Anthem actually had to apologize for the game. Not even kidding. You know, we, we've learned a lot of lessons over the last four months, I think. One of the most important ones was just around listening to player feedback better. Sure. Uh, and so we, we spent some time uh, really trying to uh, get this PTS game update out, uh, making sure instead of us saying to players, hey, this is what we think is really exciting, just give them the game update and say, you come and tell us. What are the things that you right. do like and the things that you don't like? I did get annoyed too by that one dude screaming. But overall, pretty bad way to start off E3. 5 out of 10.